Good morning. Welcome to Yarning at the Homestead Christmas Sweater Cast On. I think I'm going to just be doing um, little short videos each day over my Thanksgiving holiday break to see how far I get on my Christmas sweater cast on. Yes, I am still in bed. It is 9.50. Um, I am still in bed because my cat decided to uh, come up and lay on my lap for a little bit and she never does that so hello i stay i drop everything when she does that she's no longer here she got up and left a little while ago because i got up all right so she gets off my lap goes down and lays down over there for a little bit i had to go get a nine inch circular to start my sleeve because the sweater pattern that i'm doing is the telja by jennifer steingas and it starts with the sleeves. You start with the sleeves, you make the two sleeves first. So I had to go find a nine inch because I had 32 inch with me for the sweaters, for the sweater body, body of the sweater. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I have to get up shortly though, because I have to go, I have two errands to run today and then I'll be back and pretty much just, that's all I'm doing. So sitting here with my new gnome sheets, like my new gnome sheets, got a gnome in the window here too. Yes, I bring him down. And I actually have my gnome Christmas mug is out. Ginger gnome kisses and holiday wishes. I had some English breakfast tea. Put a little bit too much sugar in it because it's a little sweet. And I've been watching some Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It's got a little bit of a marathon on. I stopped, I, I watched it when it was first out. But I think I stopped watching it in like the fifth season because these later season episodes, I don't remember seeing at all. So, all right. So I have cast on the first sleeve. This is where I am. It's at 9.50 in the morning. So we'll check back later and see how far I've gotten. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas <laughs> at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday morning. I'm loving it though. I'm loving it. I didn't have to set the alarm this morning. All right, I will check back with you later. Bye. Hello, I'm back. It's 10 out of 12. So I got the color work done on the first sleeve. I'm gonna get up, take a shower, do my errands, come back, and then work on the sleeve, and then uh, maybe do the color work for the second sleeve, just so I have them both done. I can maybe get I'll get at least one sleeve done today, if not the second sleeve. Kitty Cat came back to uh, lay down with me. She's cleaning her toes right now. I see her. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get up, go run out, maybe take you with me, see what we're doing today, and then uh, come home and continue working on this Christmas sweater. Talk to you later, bye. Hi, happy Thursday. Uh, for those of you in the States, it is Thanksgiving Day, and yes, why am I Tigger? Um, so I was just gonna bring you up to date on my Christmas sweater. So, this is the arm. I know the light is really bad. It is 334 here, so light's going down. I have one like very big lamp right, big lamp, light lamp right there. So I think what I'm gonna do is, so, Obviously, I'm doing a plus size because plus size. This sleeve is way too big for me. I may be plus size, but my wrist and my hands, my wrist and my arms are super small. So yeah, I think I think my wrist is like six and a half inches or something like that around. And I don't really get plus size until like right here. So I was doing my sleeve take a look at it it's humongous on me and I did I use the sleeve as my gauge watch and I am getting gauge but look look how much extra fabric I have there so I think I'm actually gonna go down a couple sizes for the sleeves so I'm gonna rip all this out not gonna rip out the um, color work because there is um, some ribbing in here so it pulls it in Sorry, there's some, you see the ribbing in there? So it pulls it in. So I'm not gonna rip out the color work, 
but I'm going to rip out. Um, I'm going to rip down to this blue stitch marker, which is where the increases started, and I'm not going to increase, I don't think. Or I'm going to go down. I don't know what I'm going to do. So that's where I am right now. So I've been working on this all day, and it's not getting it. It's not getting very far because I've been debating to ripping it out or not, and it's just, it's too big. It's going to be bat wing flappy on me. <sighs> So that is the update for today. Okay, and now I'm gonna have my little plate. So, yes, I have shrimp, shrimp sauce, and deviled eggs because those are all me, always my appetizers for Thanksgiving. My spouse just got home. She's getting ready to cook. She's baking a chicken. We don't tend to do a turkey one. They're way too big. It's usually just her and I. It has been her and I for the past 10 years probably um some years we'll do like Cornish game hens you know specialized like that um but yeah she's just she's just doing uh chicken so she's getting ready to pop it into the oven now and she's been working all day so all right so on to the next installment so next time I see you maybe I'll actually have a completed sleeve I've been watching uh Brit Box all day I watched a little bit of the Thanksgiving parade because Thanksgiving to me has always been my Aunt Kathy. Those are my cats. Um, my Aunt Kathy lived in Brooklyn. And so every morning, every Thanksgiving morning, we would get up at like 5, 5.30, tumble into the car, fight over where everybody's going to sit, drive into the city, um, knock on the door, wake them all up. Aunt Kathy would make us breakfast. We'd all sit around for a little while. And then we'd head into the city, into Manhattan. Um, for the parade and Ma Kathy would stay at home in Brooklyn. She would cook. We'd come back from the parade. We'd eat and then we'd all sit around and chat and then eventually we'd leave and come back to Connecticut. So for me Thanksgiving was always is has always been on Kathy's house um, until I got into high school and then like I wanted to stay for the turkey day game and stuff like that. Um, Aunt Kathy now lives in Georgia and yeah, so, but Thanksgiving to me is always on Kathy, always, so, all right, um, so stay tuned for the next installment of The Christmas Sweater. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi, welcome back to Yarning at the Homestead. My name is Tammy and I am coming to you from the small state of Connecticut on the eastern coast of the United States. Hi, it is November 28th. It's about quarter after two in the afternoon. It's <clears throat> already dark here. It's been snowing all day, off and on. Um, I'm in the northern northwest part of Connecticut. So we actually get quite a bit of snow. Sorry, my nose is like super itchy right now. Um, we actually get quite a bit more snow than everyone else. And um, yeah, welcome. So welcome back. Anyone who's coming back, uh, revisiting the my channel. And welcome to any new viewers. If you like what you see, please give me a subscription. Click on subscri subscribe. I think I have 78 subscribers now trying to break that 100 mark um and then maybe give me a comment I don't know if I'm gonna have a giveaway today sometimes I have a giveaway and I don't have too many comments so we'll see um and I'm saying I'm um, a lot and I shouldn't if you are a previous viewer you will notice that there is an 11 inch change here yes so I cut my hair um <clears throat> there I am I'm again let me get a sip of my candy cane tea so I ordered um oh my goodness the ums I ordered tea last year as big box and it came towards the end of the season there are I believe six teas in it candy cane gingerbread pumpkin spice of course um chestnut and two others they were okay. I, I I will say I'm I'm not 
they're not my favoriteest things. And really, I ordered the whole thing for the candy cane because I really like peppermint tea. I like mint tea. Um, and candy canes are mint. But I don't really taste the mint in there. And there's a little bit of an aftertaste that I'm not sure I'm, I'm, I like. So anyway, we're back here. If you will notice, I am wearing my latest finished object, which is my ranunculus. Let me stand. And I did it, I did the short sleeve version because I really wanted it to be a layering piece. So I did the short sleeve version. And the first day I wore it, I got a big old pull in it. I was so pissed. So pissed. But it's okay. It's for the most part, I I you can't tell there's like if you look really closely if I tell you there's a pull and you look closely you can still see a little bit of it but it was going across the entire front and I've got it down to maybe about this much of it now so it is what it is anyway so that is my only finished object yes that is my only finished object since my last sweater video yes so what have I been working on? Oh, look, I'm just jumping right in. So what have I been working on? I had five days off from school. So we got out Tuesday and we had Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday, obviously, Saturday, Sunday. So I figured I would get a lot done on my Christmas sweater. And in actuality, I'm not actually going back to work till Wednesday um, because tomorrow I'm having a procedure done in my spine. Yeah, so I'll talk about that later. So what have I been working on? I did start my Christmas sweater, but I realized I didn't really have all the white needles because you start with the sleeve and I didn't have the exact needles that I needed for the sleeve. So then I had to go to DPNs, which just kind of slowed me down a little bit, but I have started the first sleeve. So here is how far the first sleeve is. Um, and I, there I go with the um again, I actually am modifying the pattern now because you start and then for my size, because I am a big girl, you, I have a bigger size, but my arms are actually quite small. So my, if you looking just at my wrist, my wrist, and I believe I do this in a short video earlier, earlier, my wrist is only about six and a half inches and I'm really not, I my forearm is not like fat, fat. There's a little bit on there. It doesn't really get, I don't really get weight until right about here. And there was every six rows, you were doing an increase. And my arm, the sleeve was like already down to here. And it was only halfway up my forearm. So I ripped it all back to the color work and I didn't do any increasing. So ooh, I just started increasing. I'm at my elbow now, right before my elbow. And I just started increasing now. So this is what these are. So I just started increasing now. So this sleeve is about halfway done and I got bored with it and see DPNs. I did pick up some nine inch that I'm gonna use on this until it gets too big. I have to transfer them, oh, dropped a stitch. So I did get started on the sleeve and then because I got bored with the sleeve, I did get started on the body. I did get started, started, excuse me, on the body. So what a mess, it's a mess in here. So here is, oh my goodness, I dropped a bunch of stitches. Okay, so I gotta go back and fix that mess. But I am doing, let's just pull this out here. So here is the body. So the all the yarn is from Feederbrook Farm, except for the white. I needed another color. And I believe she probably had another show. I believe Marilyn Sheep and Wool, or something in Marilyn, I believe was after the weekend after Rhinebeck, and I think she was there because she's from down south somewhere. So I I never ended up getting in touch with her. I didn't place another order. So I kind of went, okay, what do I have for a sparkly yarn? Because I need something with a little bit of sparkle in it. And I found this skein. It is Kramer Sterling. And of course it is fingering. So I'm holding it double, but that'll add just a little bit of sparkle. The white, and I like the white, so the white will add just a little bit of sparkle. So all the other yarns are farm yarns except for the white. Will I have it done for Christmas? I hope. We'll see. Um, 
Who knows? This bag is really cool. I bought this at Rhinebeck. It comes apart so that you can open it up and use it like a bucket, but I will never ever use it like a bucket. But I loved the fabric. And one of the things on my list for Rhinebeck was a sweater bag. So here's my sweater bag. The bag is by, oh geez, Louise here. Oh yes, thank you. Um, three bags full. So the bag is by three bags full. I like, it has the straps and I just really, really, really liked the fabric. So that is what I have been working on. I have also been working on, I actually put a little bit of, a little bit, I did all the short rows on my, what's the sweater called? It's the RBG sweater, RBG. Uh, what's this sweater called? Hold on. I got the pattern here. It's an Andrea Wrangle Descent. So the Descent sweater right there. So I have all the all the short rows done in the back. And so I believe starting, I will be starting to bring in the second color, which is an olive, a dark olive color. There. So I did start working on that a little bit more before I only had um, the collar done. And then the only other thing I've really been working on is a pair of socks. I brought over two bags because I'm not sure which bag they're in. I know they're in one of my Jessalu bags. Nope, not that one. So, this bag. So I'm working on, I have one done. And these are unique. And then I'm working on the other. I'm working on the heel now. These are a pair of unique fingering they are not they are just 100% extra extra fine super wash merino and the color number is 3001 but they're the closest of my socks to being finished because I already have one done so I'm going to work on those I just have to get the heel done and turned and then I can go back and forth and so it'll be a one that I that I take with me I don't tend to take projects with me so at school I don't have any time I, even like lunch I have no time if I'm at lunch and I have extra time to do work I'm going to be correcting or planning or doing something or calling parents or doing something it was so funny because my intern actually said to me you know we were talking about that she says you really don't have a lot of time during your playing time I'm like no because we have to do so many other things we have to call return parent phone calls we have to correct papers which I'm not uh, we have to plan, we have to make copies, we have to run to the bathroom. And right now I'm on the second floor and our second floor bathroom is not working. So we have to find a bathroom on the first floor. Yeah, so we don't have a lot of time. And I have report cards coming up and so I have to do great eats in the next couple days. So I have, tr I have tr um, changed over my scenery back here. Can see it. Go. I didn't put the lights on, but I do have some blinking lights. So my Christmas scenery back there. I have candy. I have my lint balls, which I love, and then I have some Hershey Kisses almonds over there. And all of that is Christmas yarn. I have more. I have more that I couldn't fit in there. So maybe at some point I'll actually do a Christmas yarn video of all the Christmas yarns I have. I love Christmas yarn. I just recently got um, a skein of Stranded. Can't, haven't been able to get her a gingerbread house, but I got her a new one this year. So I'm very happy with that. So that's back there. What else have I gotten for acquisitions? Okay. I received, I ordered, I ended up not going to the Fiber Festival of New England, which was two weekends after Rhinebeck, it's the first weekend in November because my health has not been the best. Even though I went to Rhinebeck, we didn't stay for a very long time. I think we were there four hours at the most, maybe five hours. I didn't do the driving, so I had time to rest in the car on the way there, rest in the car on the way back. Um, and they were, the, pe the people I went with, Karen, hi Karen, and Maureen were like super, you know, super um, patient and they knew that I might need to take time and I sat a lot. I did a lot of sitting. So I was going to go to Fiber Festival in New England. However, 
it's inside, which is great, but it's on a cement floor. And I, I would have brought my walker because yes, I'm using a walker right now. And it has a seat on it, so I, I would have had a place to sit. But I was just thinking that cement floor is going to kill me. And my joints are going to hurt so much um, next couple days. So I decided not to go. But I did order from one vendor. I'll order from others. But I did order from one vendor. I got three skeins of moss. And this is like a tweed, right? Tweedy DK for my lady finger sweater which I hope to cast on in the, in the new year because I really, really like this sweater and I'd like to have it, it's short sleeve, so I'd like to have it for, you know, April, May, towards the end of school. So I got three skeins of this. So this with the Lotus and Lane and Lotus will be my two major color waves. And the Lane and Lotus is like all creamy with speckles. But I really like this. So I did order that. So I got three skeins of that. Excuse the crinkling. I'm going to throw that over there. Um, and then I got the stranded. And then I got another advent calendar. Uh, not advent calendar. Advent skein. I got from. Where did I get this from? The Cozy Knitter. I did not. This is the first year I've done the Cozy Knitter. But she has it all packaged up. So, I can't see it. It is in two skeins, which is great. I'd like to wind it up, but it is in two skeins. So, December 1st, I will have to do some winding. So, I have four skeins. So, I have one, two. This is timber yarn. Oh, I did get timber yarns, too. Did I show Timber Yarns last time? I bought Timber Yarns Nutcracker. And I I love Timber Yarns. Oh, where'd the Progress Keeper go? Project, progress Keeper's not here. Um, so I believe it's, it's, it's the 12, I think it's 12. It's 12 Days of Christmas 2021. Uh, and, oh, there's the Progress Keeper. And so we got two minis. And of course, some lint balls, and she always sends chocolate, hot chocolate, which I can't have right now because we don't have milk, because we still don't have our refrigerator, which I'll talk about that too. And then I have another one over there. It's right there. I can see it. I thought I had a fourth one. I think I ordered four things. One, two, and I did get, oh, three. Yep. Um, Wounds and Nosh. So I have four Advent skeins, and then I have one Advent box, which I put away so that I wouldn't open it. I wouldn't be tempted to open it. I opened it just to, to make sure I had everything, and I could kind of peek at the fabric of the project bag because I got the Advent box from Whimsy Stitches this year. So I got my four skeins in, got my Advent calendar in, so I'm good. Wollens and Ash is great because she actually wound her skeins. So I can just get started on those. The other day I was at Target. Not Target. I was at TJ Maxx, I believe. Is this TJ Maxx that I found it? Yeah. And I found Mandalorian crochet kit. I'm a little addicted to these kits. I have bought a bunch of them. Some of them I have not bought. Like, I did not get... The Golden Girls. I was never a big Golden Girls watcher, and I can appreciate them, but I've never been a big 30-minute um, comedy watcher. I, I'll watch ones. Like, I did finally watch Friends. I think I've seen all the episodes, and I have. I do like Big Bang Theory, but for the most part, I tend to watch dramas, um, sci-fi things, stuff like that. But, and I've never seen The Mandalorian. I don't have Disney+. Plus. I have no not going to order it that I know of because I've talked about this before my wi-fi sucks here so why would I get services that I have to stream constantly I have been having good luck with my Burt box this week and I've been able to watch a couple seasons of Vera which is great and I watched The Longest Call I think it is that's another um Anne Cleves 
And I have been, I've seen the first three episodes of season six of Shetland, which is why I got the Brit box in the first place. Uh, I have to renew it in January. So got that. And then yesterday was Shop Small Saturday. I plan on going to one LYS and there was like all kinds of traffic issues. So we turned around and I went back. We were going to go to both, but they're like on opposite ends of the state. Well, about an hour and a half two hours away from each other and I'm like smack dab in the middle so one hour one way and about 45 minutes the other way so we turned around and went to the other one which is good because my friend Maureen had you know called had texted me and said hey are you doing anything for small shop Saturday they said hey I might just run here and she's like oh can I just hit your ride and I'm like sure so it was great it was great to spend some time with her and so what did I get I got I didn't I wasn't spending a ton of money but I got the new pom-pom I really, really like some of the sweaters in here, and that's why, I, that's the reason I got it. I really, really like this sweater. What's it called? It is called the Wave Table. I really like this. So I don't know if you can see it. It's got, like, a pattern in here. Um, you can see, can you see, can you see that right there? Yeah, can you see that patterning right there? On the sides, I really like that. So I like that one. Um, this one everybody liked, and I think I would like it, but pop, I, I like the texture, but probably not in that. I don't, I'm not sure that color. I think I would maybe want to do it in like a bright yellow, like a pop of color. They have this cool hat. It's in Tweety Yarn. I love Tweety Yarn. I'm sure I have some Tweety Yarn that I can use. Um, and this one's a really cool sweater, this Poly Rhythm. But I don't love it in the black. But they did it in the in the uh, mustard yellowy amber colors. And I really like the amber yellow, yellowy colorways. So I bought this because I do like a lot of the sweaters in here. I don't know if this is brioche or not. Um, yeah, it is brioche. Maybe I'll try my first brioche. It's a cardigan. We'll see. I've never done brioche before, but I have enough sweaters right now, or sweater quantities to go through. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm good for now. <laughs> so yeah, so I did buy the new pom pom, and then I bought I got a couple of needles that I needed for my sweater, and then I bought some blue sky wool stock in this is worsted and so it is fine highland wool in this colorway i'm going to make a headband a dressier headband for my spouse she does not wear hats she gets super cold Ow, sorry i dropped my phone she does not wear hats so i have made her some headbands before but they're like working headbands when she was working out in the woods chopping wood doing all that stuff so i want to make her one that matches her coat so she can wear it and then i'm making her right now i also have um, a scarf on the needles she picked out the yarn for that i have a shawl on the needles and i have some mitts i'm making her because she actually has reynard's disease and uh, this finger and I think this finger and one finger on this side go cold constantly like they're like dead They're freezing cold. So she needs some more gloves and yeah That's what my making is. I think that's it I think that's all It's weird, you know, like I, getting ready for this like setting it up I had, I was doing this earlier because I'm like I really want I've been wanting to set up for Christmas I've been wanting to decorate for Christmas for a while but I'm, um, I'm, Thanksgiving has to come first. So we did Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving's done and over with. Got my Christmas stuff out. I got a new gnome over there. Yeah, so I'm very excited. So I don't know if you can see, I don't know if you can see the gnome. Okay, nope. He's right there. Can you see this gnome? Right there, my fingers pointing at. It's a stick of wood and then it's the gnome face. I bought it at a, at a small, um, artist like co-op it's very cool i might go back and get another one and then i have this santa here which i bought years and years and years ago and i think it was made in like peru it was a fair trade i bought it from a fair trade place 
And I don't think I've ever actually displayed him. He's just been sitting in my room somewhere. But yeah, he's very cool. I, I'm pretty sure it was Peru that he was made in. Um, but yeah, there's my Santa bear. Oh, let me just put him down right there because oh, I got to stand him up. He doesn't really stand. You see his feet? Maybe you need to get one of those stands for him. His feet aren't flat. They're on his tippy toes like he's a ballerina. So <laughs> I have to maybe get him a stand because he has to lean up against something. So I think that's it that I I was going to pop in a couple of the little videos when I started this week thinking I was going to get my Christmas sweater done or at least get a good portion of it done. That didn't happen. And uh, a couple other videos. Yeah, it started to snow yesterday, yesterday, Friday. It started to snow Friday where we are. I didn't, wasn't aware it was snowing because I was in the bedroom and the window is behind me when I'm sitting on my bed. And I went downstairs to make some phone calls because... My cell phone doesn't work in certain areas of the house. So I had to make a phone call. So this is coming up. Um, I believe I, I talked about how the fact that I was diagnosed with scoliosis. So actually, I'll show you. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen the pictures. Um, sorry, I was reading a text from my spouse. You'll have seen the pictures. So this is, I don't know if you can tell. You see it right there. You can see a little bit of the curve there. That's all in my lumbar section. So um, there I go again, the so's and the ums. I hate that. I, ha I met with a specialist last Friday. And surgery was not mentioned, but they are going to inject... I believe it was, he said it was some kind of cortisone, some kind of special cortisone into my spine to help relieve the pain and hopefully the numbness that I'm experiencing on my left side. I really hope so because sometimes the pain is so intense that I am moaning and sometimes howling and I can't move and I'm crying because the pain is so intense. So hopefully that will relieve the pressure because where the spine is compressed, there's two discs that are compressed together and they think there's probably a pinched nerve in there. Um, and there's other things going on. I mean, obviously I'm getting older. I have arthritis. The arthritis is in the back also. And so degenerative, you know, whatever degenerative discs, because that happens as you get older. So I'm going in Monday for these injections and it has to be done in a surgical suite or in like the x-ray room because I have to guide the needle into your spine. It's pretty scary thinking about it. It's also scary thinking about the pain, but the pain that I experience, which obviously is not every day, but it, it's a, it's a couple times a week, um, is really bad. And so, and at first, when I was first starting to experience this pain, I thought it was because of my psoriatic arthritis because I get pain in my joints and I was getting pain in my back and so like last February I mentioned it to my rheumatologist I said I think I'm I think I'm I have the arthritis in my back in my back now because I'm, I'm experiencing pain back there and so really that was all and then then I started experiencing the numbness on my left side so then I talked to my regular doctor and he ordered some MRIs, but he didn't order of the lumbar section. So I ended up doing some PT. After the PT, I went back and they did a lumbar MRI and that's where they found the scoliosis and the issues. So yeah, so I'm taking two days off because I'm not sure how my body's gonna react to this, whether I'm gonna be able to. And reading up on, reading up on it, it seems like you're not allowed to resume your daily activities for 24 hours after it's and mine's not till 11 o'clock so I am taking Monday and Tuesday off so I'll be back at school on Wednesday December 1st I believe it is and yeah I'm not looking forward to it so excuse me I have not gotten as much knitting done as I would have liked to so and then also I said like 10 inches it was it's 10 to 11 inches depending on where she cut it I mean, where it was. So it's 10 to 11 inches. I, it's a bright red. It's not bright red. It's like a burgundy red. It was one step down. 
It's a burgundy red. I really like it. I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. But I still have to be careful because if I go out with my hair wet, I'm going to stain whatever I'm wearing, which I have done with this shirt right here. It's all stained red in the back. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. What else? I think that's it. I think that's it. So this will probably be a little bit of shorter, maybe. It's going to go over 30 minutes, but yeah, not much going on. But I did want to stop in and check in. One more time before the end of November. And now I'm going to go and knit, I think. I don't really want to pull my schoolwork out of my car to work on. It's actually correcting. I'm so bad at correcting. But I do have to work on that. But I figure I've got two more days. I am, I am also a procrastinator to the 10th element or whatever you want to say. I am such a procrastinator. But yeah, so I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else that I wanted to mention, and I don't think so. And I'll be back at some point. So, um, let me think. Do I have a giveaway? No, I don't. Not this time. Not this time. I will do um, a Christmas yarn episode, because I think that's always kind of fun. And go over what, what do I have already for Christmas socks. And I have three Christmas Advents that I've never finished. I think one of them is here. One of them is over here. Yeah. And that, that bag right there is one of my Christmas Advents. And then I have another Christmas Advent and a bag over there. And then I have another Christmas Advent in that box right there. Yep. I just collect them. Because that's all I do. I'm addicted to Advents. Last year, I had two Christmas Advent calendars, and I had, I think, two skeins, Advent skeins. This year, so far, I've bought one Christmas, one Christmas yarn Advent calendar for myself. I have two chocolate ones. I'm looking for the Lint, the Lindor one, because that one would be for me. So I have to check CVS this week because they had it last year. They didn't have it last week when I was there, but I'm going to check again. They had it last year. So I have to check for them. I have to check them. But I got a local one made from Madeline chocolate, which is up in New Hampshire or Vermont, they make that. And then I got a Reese's one for my spouse. And then for my spouse, I also got her a manicure one, which is a 24 day one. And then I also got her the Ulta one, which is only 12 days. So we don't start that one until like December 12th or 13th. So we have right now one yarn advent calendar, two candy calendars, two makeup calendars. And there's still two days. Will I order another one? I don't know. I'm trying not to, but oh my god. Every time I see one advertised on Instagram, I go look for I go look at it. I do. <laughs> so I love advent calendars. I really do. All right. So I am going to go. If you love advent calendars, let me know. Have you ordered an advent calendar? Have you ordered a yarn advent calendar? I've actually never ordered the same yarn advent calendar each year. And it's funny. So the there's an advent skein. It's right there. There's an advent skein right there. And that's by, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's by Mint Rain. And Mint Rain was my very first advent calendar. And I've done nothing with those with those um, skeins. But I recently saw something or read something and, said, and somebody was talking about it. And I'm like, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to order the 12 baubles of Christmas. And I think I'm going to use that advent calendar to make those baubles. But I have to find out if I have to buy like the styrofoam inserts or whatever. You can just stuff them. I have to order, I have to order the patterns anyway. Anyway, that's it. That's what I was going to do with, with that calendar. I have this calendar here is being made into a wrap and then I have another calendar that's being made into a wrap so that's it I'm done oh and I have a Halloween calendar from last year which I also have not done anything with right. uh yeah let me know in the down bar do you like advent calendars are you as addicted as I am oh my gosh I almost bought I was at Michael's the other day and they have like a 12 day craft one and I almost bought it but it's for kids that's how addicted I am like I could do twelve. I could do a craft a day. 
No, Tammy, you have four socks you're going to be working on every day. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm going to go now. All right. Bye. <laughs> so I just found Baby Groot. There's Baby Groot. So the spouse and I play this silly game where we hide Baby Groot until the other person finds it and then it's hidden again. It took a long time for her to find where I hid Baby Groot the last time. Actually, she found it a couple weeks ago, so Baby Groot must be has sitting here for a little while. But he's in like my little amagarami basket with Princess Leia and Dobby, Dobby, sorry, and my dragon. And I just put this back, my uh, fall leaf, and I have a Will Wheat in here. So, yeah, there is Groot, baby Groot. Now I gotta, now I gotta hide him again.